Now, last week in the Beko kitchen, it was a Taiwanese haven, but today we have got Thai on the menu. Mark, I see you're going to do a wee Carmen Miranda with this there pineapple. Yeah, I've been inspired from Taiwanese week, and we've got a pineapple here. We're going to carve, well, we're not going to carve it, we're going to cut it in half and hollow it out and put it in the fried rice. And for once, you're actually <laughs> going to do something. You're not just going to stand there and twizzle yeah, No, your no, you're spoon. going to do something today. I'm going to put you to work. That's dangerous. We know how that could go. Okay, so what is it, and what have we got in there? Right, so what we're going to do is, uh, is a fried rice. So we've got no meat in here but we've got lots of amazing uh, ingredients in here lots of flavors sweetness um, textures in there we've got some cashew nuts a little bit of curry as well with some soy sauce sesame oil <laughs> vegetables some what nuts cashew nuts bless you <laughs> what are these and why are they on the set uh, some currants and some frozen peas you know how I feel about frozen peas but in fried rice it is okay a <laughs> uh, little bit of chili shallots it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome but the most important thing with fried rice Cook your rice even the day before and make sure it's cold in the fridge and then uh, I've got some little tips and tricks and then it's all good. Okay, you've redeemed yourself. <laughs> We're very much looking forward to getting this together. I don't know whether I should be nervous or not helping this one. It's great to have you with us in the Beko Kitchen and we've got a vegetarian recipe this morning, Mark. What are we doing? We certainly have. So we got, we're going to do a fried rice. Yep. All right, so we've got an array of ingredients. The, Including uh, the sultanas, noughts. which are revolting, <laughs> but I'm willing to let you away with it because you're putting peas in, which you don't like. So I yeah. know, yeah, too, too nervous. <laughs> This is uh, which we're, we're going to put together and it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Okay, good. Right, so we've got our rice, we talked about that before. So cook it, cool it down, even if you make extra rice the day before or a couple of days before. So it's before. important to be cold. Yes, yep. wants to be cold. All right, and what we're going to do with this rice, so as it goes cold, you see it all clumps up into oh, one can, bit. Can you hear it? It says, I want to be cold. <laughs> I want. <laughs> and what, so a little bit of oil onto yep. the rice and then you can get a spoon in there or you can or a fork and just gently sort of mix it around it and almost break up those um, carefully granules of uh, the rice. rice and then um, and you see with that oil it sort of separates it a little bit so, so when you put it in the um, uh, frying pan and you make it it doesn't clump into one big like rice ball because to be fair I've done that before I threw it out called it uber and then we we're away <laughs> laughing because I, I, but I didn't have you beside me helping me Right, so what's going on over here? Right, so we're going to get some flavours in there now. Yep. So we've got some uh, shallots, some garlic, and we've got some green chilli as well. So I'm just going to chop all that. So why a shallot over an onion? Uh, just a little bit um, sweeter. It's a bit posher. Yep. We, we use them in the restaurants because they're like posh onions. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're, they're a little bit sweeter. What um, makes this Thai as opposed to, because, you know, you can get Chinese fried rice. What's, make it, what, what's Thai about this? Uh, we're well, definitely the pineapple. Yep. You know, you've got the pineapple in there. We've got some fish sauce. We're going to make a little sauce in a minute now. And we've got some curry in there as well for some extra flavour. Some curry? Yeah, a little bit Excellent. of curry powder. Right, so uh, garlic, so just going to crush that. Yeah, that's well, definitely dead if you I've were got, wondering. I've got a wok on as well, so we're just uh, warming that up. Wok on, that's what they say at the start of a concert, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to turn this heat on or is it is going? It, no, no, it's going. Is it hot? <laughs> Wave your hand over it and see if it's hot. Um, there you go. Uh, yeah, Good. no, there's something going on there. It's a little bit warm. Right, so I've got a little bit of soy sauce. Can I stop stirring this rice? Yeah, yeah, no, okay, you're not supposed right. to just coat it. It's not 10 minutes ago. <laughs> this is a bit noisy. <laughs> yeah. Nothing like that sound. So a little bit right. of curry powder in there. Yep. And a little bit of fish sauce in there. Okay, good. And we're just going to use that just mm. to season the rice up just at the very end. Great. Right, so let's get some flavours going in there. So a little bit of oil. Get your yep. oil warm. Just a usual Mark Southern slug of oil in there that oh, you can you need, swim in. That's yeah, okay. you need a good, good slug in there. Oh, good. You know, if you don't if you don't use oil in cooking, you don't you know you don't want to over oil it. But if you don't use oil in cooking, you're not going to get an even colour. No, I, I understand. Look, you, you, there is no complaints here. I'm just <laughs> Josh. I assume I'm allowed to stir this. So I yes, already this, it's uh, we're stir frying, so great. Fry and stir. <laughs> I'm just anticipating your every move. No, no, it's good. It's yeah. good. It's teamwork, you know. <laughs> right, it's so. not what you say when we're not on camera. <laughs> yeah. That guy gets right up in my grill, literally. So we've got uh, we've got some carrots as well now. So what I'm going to do is just slice them and then slice them across, and then we get these little match sticks. So nice and fine. Right. Uh, and they won't take long to cook. You know, you still want a little crunch in there. Mm -hmm. So that's going on now. What am I looking for with these? How do well, I know that I'm not? Well, just overdoing over nice it? medium heat, so you can see it's still um, you know lightly frying. You're going to yep. start getting all those aromas now. You're just softening. Okay, I'm softening those. You're doing the carrot. Carrot's going to go in. in now, so we're going to keep stirring. Great. And then I've got I've got an egg as well. What we're going to do, crack the egg in 
Right, and you want to keep stirring that? Yep, okay, I am and now keep stirring it in. Stir it, so right. you're mixing it all three, breaking that egg all. Yeah. So now we've got like little pieces of eggs. So oh. egg fried rice now. Now it looks like a real one. So I've been stirring like mad. I've got one bicep much bigger than the other now, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> what, what have you got going on there? Right, so I've got the pineapple. So uh, as inspired by Jeff the other week, we have cut it in half, scooped it out. Um, all the centre of the pineapple, we're just chopping it up. That's going to go in the fried rice. We can pop that straight in now. I'm disappointed you haven't sculpted that into some sort of resemblance of Mike, uh, Mike and Mel or something. Where's, what are you doing? I did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, um, that's not a very nice thing to say. <laughs> you can see the resemblance, don't I? <laughs> Right, pineapple goes in there. Right, pineapple. And then what we're going to do? We're going to we're going to serve it back in the pineapple. Okay, that's good. That's a very very oh, tight thing to do. Smelling great. So if there's any debate over pineapple on a pizza, there should be no debate about pineapple and Thai fried rice because this smells gorgeous. Right, peas go in now. He's so peed in the pan, and now for the sultanas. Peas. Do you want me to put them in or not? No. I think you've got a problem. Okay, we'll just no, no. Don't you, put them. You in. could. Oh, oh, <laughs> yuck! Just, you just said. Right. All right, and the cashews. <laughs> <laughs> Never gets old. Right, I'm still stirring. That's all I've done today because you're punishing me for having a go at you last week for doing absolutely nothing in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Right, and then spring onions. Great. It's getting warm in here. Right. Did you put the rice? No. <laughs> <laughs> no worry. I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> right. What is? <laughs> okay. Right. I'm stirring this. It's actually starting to look like fried rice because you've got all right. that oil in there. Rice is in. Yep. So keep keep stir frying it. So the rice is cooked, so we're just warming it up now. Yep. We've, we've put the oil on it, so it's breaking down. So as you're stirring it as well, you're breaking it down even further. All the other ingredients are cooked. And then soy goes on. Now just remind, so that's just soy sauce and what else was soy in there? Soy sauce, fish sauce, and uh, a little bit of curry as well, just to bring out that flavour. Oh. And then we've got some fresh lime. Yum. So what does the lime do in terms of this recipe? Well, it's just going to freshen it up. Yum. And really sort of lift all those flavours. Oh. Look at that, look oh. at that colour, texture, flavour, smell. Tell and then what. as soon as that is warm, that is ready to go, and then we'll just pile it back in the uh, pineapple and serve it. It is smelling incredible. You have redeemed yourself. I think I might be able to find my way around those sultanas. It's certainly packing a punch with my nostrils. Now, if you want the recipes, he's put the cashews <laughs> in here, <laughs> but are we putting them on the top at the end for garnish, or is that what? Well, we can, here? yeah, I've saved half there, yeah. Excellent, I'm looking forward to it. Hey, you can find the recipe on our website, thecafe.co.nz. Here is the moment we've all been waiting for. This is the pineapple bowl full of goodness, <laughs> Mark. Yum. Look at that. I That's reckon. Awesome. Hey, what's on the menu tomorrow? All right, tomorrow I've got a duck and chicken cassoulet.